Well, Shalom Alechen, Bezrat Hashem. We're going to give our shiur today for women. Rabbeinu is writing in the 60th Torah in Likutei Moharan that when, when a person, when you want to show your face to someone, when you want to explain something to someone, you have to dress those face in story tales. A lot of time when you want to educate your son or to explain something to someone, so you have to dress your words in a story, in a tale, that they're going to understand it, that they're going to have the ability to accept that. This is something that it's very important for everyone to know, for educating someone else and for explaining that you're going to have that ability to explain yourself, to express yourself in a better way. But a person cannot go to teach before that he learned that subject for himself. Means that we need to understand that also HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when He wants to explain things to us, He is dressing those things in story tales. And we need always to look what Hashem wants from us, what is the lesson, what HaKadosh Baruch, Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu actually wants to tell me. In those story tales, from all of the situations, something happened here, something happened there, someone said something. In all of those things there is a certain message. And we need to try to put our ears and our heart to understand the message of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The way of doing that, like we said a lot of times, is by Hidbodedut, by that conversation that we have with the Creator. And I feel like we should talk about it again and again, and I'm going to tell you why. Because women, they have an enormous ability of praying. It's written on Sarai Menu and on Rivka and Rachel and Leah that those righteous women the Shekhinah was always hovering above their tent. They had a cloud, a cloud that were tied to their tent, means above, hovering above their tent, that, like that it cannot move. Why? Because that they were praying. Because that they were praying so much, all day long, and when the angels are asking Avraham Avinu, where is Sarah your wife? He's answering, she's in the tent. In the tent means that she's standing inside and she's hiding. What it means that she's hiding? That she's... She's watching herself, she's preparing herself to be only for Hashem it Barach. And she doesn't want outside powers to have no control on her. If someone is looking at you, if someone is taking from your powers, I saw one, a righteous man, a real righteous man, that he was walking in the western wall, in the Kotel Amaravi, and some tourist wanted to take a picture of him, of that righteous man. And he was standing like that with the camera to make that photograph. And that righteous man started to shout at him, Move away your camera! Move away your, ca move away your camera! Don't make no photos! I don't want to be filmed to, to have no pictures! I was surprised. I couldn't accept it, what he wants. It's a righteous man. What's, is it an illusion? Is something wrong with him? What happened? After a while, I heard a story on Rabbi Yudha Zev Lebovich, that he was a hidden righteous man in this generation, lived with us until three years ago. Now he's protecting us, Baruch Hashem, from heaven. That one time Rabbi Yudha Zev Lebovich wanted to meet to a certain righteous man, a different one, and someone arranged a meeting between them, and they were sitting and talking in Divrei Torah and they were progressing in their Limud Torah to a very high place. The Rav Yudha Zev Leovich wanted to create a certain peace with that other righteous man and Mamash to bond themselves together, to attach themselves together. And Rav Yudha Zev Leovich is telling, he's writing that, that suddenly came 
a person with a camera and made a picture. That he made a picture of both of them sitting together. We all very, we like to see those pictures, we're enjoying seeing pictures of righteous people sitting together in a wedding, in a meal, in a Sudat Mitzvah, tons of pictures. In that moment, fire started to flame, to burn between those two righteous people, and they couldn't continue talking. And that righteous man that came to Rabbi Zev Levovich, he was angry. He stood up from his place and he said, What? You called me only to make that picture? Means from politic reasons, not, not really to make peace, just you wanted a picture. And he stood up and took his things and went out. And Rabbi Yudha Zev Levovich said that that person that made that picture, he was a messenger of, of the dark forces to ruin that meeting between them. By what? By one picture. Those pictures, when someone is looking, when someone is taking a picture, he's taking from your powers. Also in science you can know that, that how you can see something. Rabbeinu is explaining that, I'm not a scientist, just it's written in Likute Moran. Rabbeinu is saying that there is a light that comes out from the sun and hits something. And after that it hits that thing, it jump into your eye. That beam of light is jumping from that thing into your eye and then you can see that thing. So actually when a person sees that, his black dot that is God, the Ishan, the pupil, that is God in his eye, is swallowing that light and taking it. And when it's taking it, you have it. It's yours. You, you saw it. You contain it. So actually what you saw, you saw something that it's not yours. What you took, you took him. When someone is looking at you and the, on the street, watching and thinking, observing, checking, He's taking your light. He's taking your powers, your spiritual powers. A lot of women can feel that. A lot of women are complaining and saying that she feels that someone is mm, mm, stabbing her with, her with his eyes, looking too hard, too strong. And she feels like someone is stabbing her from the back. Someone is looking at her. This is a real feeling. It's a real feeling that every woman has to hide herself. Hide herself not out of fear, just because that she wants to be complete. She wants to contain her light. She wants to be modest. And if Chas Shalom, a woman is not modest and she is not wearing, she is not covered, totally covered, so for sure, when they're looking at her, they're taking her inner power. They're taking her inner light. They can take advantage of her. This is why a woman, this is our, why our mothers were so modest, so, so hidden. Because they were saving their powers. And then when you have so much power, so many powers, you can f point them to something that is important to you. To prayers, to it And you have those powers. If all day long people are taking advantage of you, even only with their eyes, taking your light, when you're coming back to your house, you feel exhausted. You feel you don't have normal powers. And especially when women are causing those things to themselves by dressing so fancy and so... not so modest. They're damaging themselves. <laughs> Who you have to blame? This is why every woman has to try to take herself in her hands and to be respect and to be honored and to be covered. And then you're going to have more powers to pray and to do long it bodeduyot, like the mothers, that they were standing and praying in their tents. And you're going to know, and you're going to feel it, that when you're going to stop taking your satisfactions from outside, you're going to be satisfied from inside. When you're just chasing after lusts and desires outside and compliments and good words and I don't know what from outside, you're never going to be satisfied. You're never going to be complete and full. Just only when you don't care what people are thinking about you anymore, and you're just happy, and you're just closing your eyes, and you're saying to Hashem Barach, my happiness depends in you. My happiness depends in my good deeds, in my good actions. Please let me connect myself to you. Let me be in touch with me, with you. Make me happy. 
for sure Kadosh Baruch Hu gonna answer your prayers happily very soon Amen Kenny Ratzon